We landed in Nashville. We got to this fucking place. And they said, boy, all you can bring in here is a Bible. And I'm like, fuck, where'd you guys bring me? A fucking cult? What is this place? And they say, son, what we do here is we work steps. And I'm like, what, like jazzercise and shit? And they're like, wow. Really? Really? Cut that shit out. I don't give a fuck who you think you are. And they said, first step you gotta get is that you have to admit to yourself truly that your life has become unmanageable and that you were powerless over why you're fucking here. And as soon as they said that, I flashed back to the bathroom right before I had admitted to coming to all these, to do this treatment, right before I left for the plane with my dad. And I remember doing the last bit of dope, looking up at the mirror, and I was green. I was, I was literally green. I had these scabs that I'd like picked at. I hadn't brushed my teeth in like three months. And I looked at this counselor and I was like, I'm pretty fucking unmanageable, sir. And so I'm there for 75 fucking days, right? I'm walking around, they say, oh, man, you gotta get this step two. I'm, step two I'm still on, right? They said, Step two is you gotta find a higher power. You gotta believe in something other than yourself, something greater than yourself. Because every time you're stuck in your own head, Justin, you just drive your life right into a fucking wall. And I'm like, you got me there. You, you're right, you're so right. Wow, you just blew my fucking mind. And I said, look, uh, it doesn't have to be Jesus. It doesn't have to, it could be this fucking guitar stand if you believe hard enough, you know? And I'm like, well, that's fucking stupid. <laughs> So I'm there for 75 days and I see all these people the whole time that are in there with me, younger kids, you know, running around going, I found my higher power, woo! -hoo! And I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and it pisses me off. I win, always. Even on these fucking steps. I'm gonna get to these motherfucking steps before you do. Fuck! So I'd go to this church they had there, and I'd sit in the middle of the church going, <laughs> Bust, bitch. So I had a week left, right? A week left. I still haven't found this higher power they're talking about. Remember, my wife's, my fiance Sarah's back home, about to have a child. I want it so bad, right? I need a change in my life. I need something greater than myself to save me from this fucking shit. So they move me to this halfway house. And a halfway house to me, I like to think of it as halfway from where you used to be to halfway to where you want to be. And I'm there and I live with all these lawyers and doctors who had been down the same road as me. But I remember I walk out at 6.45 a.m. on the back porch with a cigarette and a cup of coffee because they're not going to take my cigarettes away from me yet. And I walk out at 6.45 a.m. and I'm like, okay, i got a week left, dude. Boom. Let's fucking do this. <laughs> it's you and me, buddy. Everybody else is asleep. I want this shit. I want to be a good father. I want to be a good husband. I want to be a good son. I want to be a good father. I want all this shit. Come on. Send me a burning bush right now. <laughs> Nothing. That squirrel will jump from that tree to that tree right now. Fucking absolutely nothing. I'm like, what's the deal, man? Do you have something against me? I'm literally talking out loud to the sky. Talk to me like a four-year-old. You gotta show me something so fucking simple here. I've done so much damage to this brain that you might have to talk to me like I'm stupid. <laughs> fucking B. Motherfucker. <laughs> Forgive the beat. Let's focus. <laughs> Let's keep on going here, all right? Just talk to me like I'm. Well, I want it really bad. I want it so bad. This is a motherfucker. I hate bees. They hurt. Just talk to me like I'm. So I've got a week left. I really want this bad. And I look over and I'm like, oh my god. And then I see this. 
I literally am like annoyed. I'm thinking that this bee is bugging me from my conversation here. And I look over and there's this black can. And it's a huge jumbo can, right? And it doesn't say raid in small letters. It says in big white letters, wasp killer. <laughs> I notice this bee is zzzboom, 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 bouncing his head against this thing. And I'm going, oh, man, why are you focusing on the fucking bee? Come on. Talk to me like I'm simple. Please, just show me something. And I'm like, oh my fucking God. Oh, stop. Can't you see that millions of your fucking homies, you little fucking bee, have died from trying to get into that shit, and still you're fucking wanting that fucking... I still get chills talking about that moment. And right then, man, I swear to God, this warmth just went whoa, whoa. I found my higher power in a fucking wasp killer <laughs> But I found it. And at that moment, I just got it. Everything made sense. So I flew back home with all this and we had our baby, Sadie Bell. Mm -hmm. She never has to see that guy, hopefully, you know? And no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just so grateful for that day, that morning. Because I have to live my life that simple, <laughs> you know? <laughs>